so that if any council member or anybody wants to know what's going on, that we can debate with the department heads and the council without, you know, before right. coming at a meeting. Because then that way, to me, it, it alleviates or it solves all problems with, you know, anybody thinking that Again? Yeah. No, no, and I, I wanted to have those. Speak into that. She is not a weapon. And that's not going to open meeting. It does. Huh? Loudly. What do you want? <laughs> okay. Just like a working session. Oh, told that wasn't a nice yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time we speak, we know we have to roll over in front of the boss. Where's the boss? Shane, you're outside. Well, just uh, like that. Because you're outside. You don't want to yell then. What? No, I don't get you. And we're not going to get you. And I didn't. And I didn't realize until you sent the email. That's okay. I was a special meeting. Yeah. I was out there such a No, no. Too I didn't realize that. Yeah. 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 yeah, I understand. Yep. Yep. I agree with that. I agree. Good cat. I'll try not to cough on yeah, right. Thank you. I have Just like church, there's room in front. I've got something in here to say. Sit in the side view. He's actually got it. It's not. Not even can act like you have a child and go sit in the, the baby room. The cry room? Uh oh. He's got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We just got to work to keep you awake forever? Well, right now I need to stay awake. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> that only 18 year old drank that much Red Bull. I am 18. That's right, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Just like my grandmother, who was 29 for 50 years. Looks like Chris said she was going to go up to 39, and then when she's 39, she's going to start going back to her and Mac and me at some point. I'll take another one. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I got one of them. <laughs> Step ahead of you. You're better than I am. Yeah. Comes the calendars. <laughs>
Yep. Okay, we'll call to order the special meeting in the Tracy City Council for uh, Monday. Let me get uh, March 6th. Um, we have uh, approval of the agenda. And does anybody have any questions or comments about the agenda? The only, the only comment I have is number four. It indicates there's a public comment period. Uh, we can talk about that, but my inclination is to not have a public comment period, to have it saved until our next regular scheduled meeting, which would be the 13th, if people want to talk to the council uh, based on what was discussed today or tonight. Um, because I view, just, just a, generally, I view this meeting tonight as a way to uh, talk with Madonna and have Madonna talk with us about her expectations of working with the council and our expectations of her it's more or less like a working meeting and i hope we all treat it in that way uh, we all have uh, a vested interest in this city improving we all have a vested interest in madonna succeeding in her position and no one wants her not to succeed uh, so i view this meeting not um, as, as a meeting to express animosities or, or get upset with individuals, but more or less to have a dialogue to see how we better can work together and to avoid having to call uh, a special meeting in the future. So based upon that, um, I would, can't hear me? No. Well, first, let me apologize for having a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what, but what I was saying is, is that on the agenda, it's indicated that there's a public comment period. Um, but my inclination is to not have that, is to save that for the next council meeting, which would be on the 13th. The reason, the reason being is I view this meeting as a working meeting to work with Madonna, to have her express what her expectations are of working with us and what our expectations are of working with her. Uh, there is nothing going to be decided other than us communicating with one another. So if there's things that people want to say, they feel the need to say, they would certainly have time to do that at the next council meeting. But I want to be able to just have an open dialogue tonight with Madonna and ourselves. Uh, because as I said, and I, if I'm repeating myself, it's for the benefit of me talking louder, we all have a vested interest in Madonna succeeding in her job. And we all have a vested interest in the council being able to effectively communicate with Madonna and vice versa because we need to move our city forward. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that we need to address as a city. And we, we need to be able to have effective communication with our city administrator and also amongst ourselves. So because of that, and in that vein, that's why I'm deciding if others disagree with me, they can. But I don't think a public comment period is necessary because if there's things that people want to say, they can say it next week. So that's my view on that. Anyone else has any other discussion on that? I would agree with that. <coughs> okay, so with that deletion of the public comment, uh, do we have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have uh, mayor and council communications. We have the city administrator, clerk, administrator. And as I said, at the beginning, um, uh, I, I called this meeting so we can have a dialogue with Madonna and Madonna can have a dialogue with us. Uh, I will say to the council's uh, benefit, if there are any issues that come up again, what I would prefer to do in dealing with any issues would be we have an employee relations committee that meets. If there are issues that come up, I think it would be advisable to bring issues up to the Employee Relations Committee. We can iron, them, iron things out that way as opposed to having to call a special meeting in order to address all of the uh, issues that arise. That's why we have that committee. Well, just a point of clarification on that. The Employee Relations Committee was set up for the employees to discuss things with management without getting the union involved. It was an employee-driven not, not management-driven 
that just so you're aware. No, I I, I understand that, but uh, I think I'd like to be able to. Members that had to go through state training, and you had rules you had to live by, and, and that it's not. And I don't think anybody else has been to the training, but Charlie and I. But, but that's the purpose of it: is to allow the employee another avenue, rather than supervisor or union complaints, to discuss with management grievances that the employee has to try and solve it at the lowest level. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying what I would like to use that employee committee for, <coughs> for things like this. I would rather be able to sit down with Madonna and talk about things that people present to me. And one way of doing it is by utilizing this committee. If other people object, that's fine. But I just as soon talk with Madonna uh, if there's people bring something up and vice versa. If she brings something up, I would talk to the individual person that's involved. So that's, that's my view. Uh, I don't feel like calling special meetings to be able to deal with things that we could sit down at the table and talk about. Um, but I didn't mind calling for this one because we need to start somewhere. But I'm saying I am really loath to ever call another one because we can talk about things like adults and sit across from the table and talk about them. Uh, so. That's just my view on that as to what may happen in the future. I don't anticipate having anything like this again. But as Madonna pointed out, two, come out, two council members can call a special meeting if they want to. So even if I say I'm not going to do it again, it doesn't mean two people can't call it. But to me, I would rather be able to sit down and visit with somebody across the table than have everybody take time out of their day to come out and talk about these things. That's my view, OK? So. Uh, that being said, I know, uh, Tony, you, you had contacted me about some things, about some contacts that you had with Madonna, correct? And I, I'm not sure if you want to talk about those or not, but I know Madonna is aware of those because I talked with her about it and I showed her what those concerns were. I don't know if you want to articulate each and every one or just generally. Well, if you're familiar with them, I will say this. You need to move out of that office and there's a reason there's a door on that office. So a lot of the discussions are kept between you and the party <clears throat> and not the public. That's and it's sooner rather than later. And that would solve a lot of it. The other issue on that being you have to empower the people in that office to, to be responsible for them, their jobs and be able to answer public questions instead of I'll wait and talk to Madonna. So that, that's it. That's a symbol. That's the. That's a good starting point. And I know uh, Bill, you had you had contacted me too when you saw something in the paper as well. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to be able to visit about that with Madonna. Well, or yeah, I was just concerned that you know we're not going to solve anything in the paper. You know. You, that, that's not the way to go about addressing any issues that we have. And, and I'll just read it. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the comment, and I'm going to uh, read it here, um, that was in the paper last week. Contacted the next day for further comment. Peterson said that she was concerned that the actions of two council members were interfering with her doing her job as city administrator. She said that the council members who she declined to identify had, no, <clears throat> had on more than one occasion conducted investigations of city-related business and talked with and given instructions to city employees without her knowledge or participation. And I, I guess I'd like to know who those council members were and who those city employees were. So that, that was your concern about yeah, what she said I, in the paper? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, before I go any further, I, I know, Madonna, you wanted this open to the public, too, so I'll just put it on the record if that was all right with you that we talked about these things openly in yes. a public forum. Yes, I emailed Shane today to tell him to tell you that it is fine with me that it's open to the public because um, I, I wanted it that way. Okay. Um, now, Madonna, I know that you've, you've contacted me, too, about, about some concerns that you've had with interactions with the respective members of the council. Do mm -hmm. um, you want to talk about those or about how we could uh, work better 
uh, so not to have the conflict that you see over there? Well, the very first thing that I told Steve that I would like to see is possibly before each council meeting, maybe we can have a working meeting so that you as council members can visit with us one-on-one -on -one as the department heads so that you feel that you're part of the decision-making process instead of just at a meeting. Um, I feel that, you, I, don't, I don't know the right way to say it, but I feel that there's decisions being made that, that, that we as the workers and me as the city administrator are being overlooked, that you're not including us on what actions have been taken already to correct something. And I think that if we met, you know, if it was like an hour before every council meeting, we could debate that you guys could ask your questions so that you felt involved, so that you didn't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if you don't feel involved, but um, I think that would alleviate a lot of the problems of what I feel of being told how I'm going to do the job. So having a meeting like before the council meeting would yeah. probably alleviate some of that. Mm -hmm. And I, I know it may be difficult for some, say, like you get here at 530 um, to do that. I, I, I think that's a great idea. Uh, I know what I had told Madonna and Shane was that prior to every council meeting, I could be here at 530 and I want to do that to be able to sit and visit about what's upcoming so we don't necessarily get surprises or whatnot. And we, we don't normally because we get the agenda ahead of time. But if there's last minute things that we need to talk about, I think it'd be advisable to meet early if people can. Um, so that I, I think that's a fair resolution to something. How do you do that without violating the open meeting? Law? No, it, is an, it still is an open meeting. It still is an open meeting. It's still, they, I, I, we've talked about doing that before. There, there, count, there are other councils in other towns of like working, yeah. working yeah. council. Yeah, so we can do that. They're open to the public, but they don't have to be recorded or something like, I forget what it was. Um, I'm not sure, if, I'm pretty sure they still have to be recorded. Okay. But I don't think any motions take place at them. I think that'll take okay. place at yeah. the city council meeting. It's just an informative meeting to discuss, debate, you know, whatever, yep. the, you know, is going on. I, I, that that's fair, and and again, maybe there's a time crunch with some people, but if we're available, you certainly could come. And it, actually, it doesn't. I mean, and I'm always open to anybody coming in and and talking about anything, just as well as I'm sure that the other department heads are too. Okay. Um, anything else, Madonna? That uh, about how we can effectively work together? Well, I don't think anybody wants to say it. So I, the only thing I can say is that. Like I said at the last council meeting, even though everybody thinks that I'm being overly defensive, is that I have been told by a council member before that I have no business making a decision. I have been told that I'm being defensive. I have been told that this is how we need to do things. I have been questioned about why I'm doing it. And nobody's coming in and asking me about different things. Instead, we wait till a council meeting, and then, like I said, I feel like I'm being jumped on. And I am doing anything and everything that I can to make this city a better place. I have also put in the newspaper when my meeting was there is I want to get rid of all the negativity. And I was going to bring the newspaper, but I didn't bring the newspaper. And, you know, um, all I can say is that there's a second side to every story and several of the things that you talked to me about the other day, I'm, I'm willing to bet that at least four of them is only one side of the story and it's not the other side of the story. But obviously we don't want or we're not going to talk about that. But Well, well let's talk about well, it. What, is, we, what are you referring to? Well, the Warren Riddell thing, that <laughs> happened a year ago. That did not happen when I was a city administrator. And I sat on one side of the office. I was not behind the black file cabinets at that time. How can I be reprimanded or even discussed anything that, you know, he came in and he was after Kim was the one that was waiting on him. Mm -hmm. And all I did is stood up to defend Kim because of the way he was treating her. And I told him that if he wanted a reduction on his rent, that he had to bring it to the city council. That's all that was. But you didn't come and ask me and talk to me about it. You just automatically assume whatever happened from his side of things. That's one thing. 
I did not call the Southwest Health and Human Services bill about some thing with the apartment. I didn't do that. Why would I do something like that? Uh, who said you did? Steve, you told me the other day that you are concerned that I am the one that turned in the EDA for something that happened at an apartment. I did no such thing. Why would I do well, anything I'm calling like in that? the state to an EDA meeting. Okay. No, but she didn't do that, and I had to ask her about it. Yeah, and that's all I asked. I said, no, I, not, and that's why I had to ask I, her about I, it. I, I, I asked the question, who, who, who called them? That's what I asked. It wasn't me, but I, I mean, I, why, I mean, so I guess I felt that I was, um, from the understanding, from talking with Steve, that I was the one that was accused of doing that. I didn't know such thing. Yeah, I had to find out because the question was brought to me, why were they called? So I had to, I don't know. So but that's I why didn't. I had to call. Why? Right. I mean, I've, I've told, I've told you multiple times, Tony, in, in the hallway or whatever, I mutually respect you. I like that you investigate stuff. I've told you that more than once. Bill, I think I've talked to you about that too. Yeah, that's... So, so and I mean, the business with, you know, like the, the hiring of somebody um, and going on what happened. I, I didn't want to stand up and tell you guys that. I didn't want to say that. But how could I not defend myself? I feel like I'm being harassed. A lot of people feel like you're being bullied. Yeah. So that's part of why we're having this, so we, we, we can have effective communication. That, and Bill, were you going to say something? Well, no, I, I guess I, I want to know about this comment that was made in the paper. Who, who, who are you referring to? Well, I'm referring to you and Tony as the two council members. And, and what, okay. And what employees did we give directions to? Well, one, you give Diane directions. Um, Tony has emailed Diane more than once. You told her that minutes needed to be changed and things needed to be changed. And you also told me as a city employee that I had no business making a decision on something that I made. No, I did not. Yes, I, you I, did. I did not. You may April, have interpreted it that way. No. What I said, that's not the way I would have done it. That was it. There was five witnesses in there, Tony. That well, that's fine, but it's beside the point. It is beside the point. I want and, to move forward. And, I and think I, this is. I was just trying to save Diane some time because I read the minutes earlier. Okay. You could take it as me telling somebody what to do, but were they wrong? Were, were those typos in those minutes? In your opinion, they were. It was a grammar error for one. It was a street error on one, and a one it was, spelling error on one. Was, one. No, it was a grammar error. It's hang versus hang or whatever. Well, it, it's what, what, what the thing is, I, I suppose, to say one way of talking about it. I mean, anytime we have corrections about minutes, we can do it at a council meeting. Yeah. yeah. That's I mean, exactly that's, what it's I mean, meant that's to normally happen. what happens. That's exactly what's meant to Well, I mean, and again, so that's why we're, we're doing these things. I mean, because again, because I, I personally, you know, I don't want to undermine what you're doing, and I don't think other people do because you have a job to do. Um, so, you know, that's why we're doing this. So if, if, there's, if there's things that people perceive as being not correct, that's why we talk about them. So it's better to have the questions answered than having them linger on and say, well, who contacted who and who said what? So we, because we don't need that because we need to move forward as a city. I agree with that completely. Exactly, and that's why I would like the council members, if you know, there's any question or any doubt about anything, why, you know, why we simply can't discuss it, I mean, I don't, I don't have a closed door. I mean, anybody that has come to City Hall and anybody can verify that I've done this is I get my keys out and we come over to this side of the building and we shut the door. Now, since we were talking about it, and I know one of the bigger uh, the issues that Tony was bringing up is not having your own office. Can you, can you give an update as to what what's the process is going to be with that? Well, originally I wanted to go back in the break room, which is down the hallway in the back, you know, behind the room. And the reason why I feel that way is because I did do a poll of a survey of around, and there is... Um, it's rare for a, for anybody, member of the public, to be able to just walk into a city administrator's office. I think they should have to go through, if you want to call it a reception desk or whatever, so that when there is a call for me that the girls know, the girls, guys, whoever it is, that somebody knows that if I'm busy that they're not interrupting or whoever else isn't interrupting because I'm with somebody else at the time or in a meeting or, you know, whatever it is. Um, so I have talked to Shane about that. He does not think that 
I should go in a, or say a closet at the back of the office. Therefore, what he and I discussed and suggested is in the corner of that office that we just put up two walls, which would box off that, um, box off that room, and then that way the reception would be there. Um, all the internet's over there already. All the phone lines are over there already. Um, and he said that it would cost less than $2,000 to do it, and then there would be privacy. And one of the, one of the concerns, as I know in, in the past, is like having someone here, mm -hmm. where there were concerns about people bypassing the office and just yep. plopping right into this office and not knowing what the heck's going on. Mm -hmm. Is that fair to say? That is true. There was multiple times that um, we ran into an error um, well, I guess I won't call it an error, but we ran into an issue where, like, say, for instance, um, somebody's having, you know, trouble paying their water bill. Well, the city administrator usually don't, you know, know necessarily, you know, the history of how, whatever the account was. Um, so, in all reality, um, the person that does know is completely being bypassed and then the city administrator may or may not make a decision based on you know, needed to find out the facts, so to speak, and that wasn't happening, so. Well, one instance that we had when uh, the, the fellow with the dog licenses yeah. was told, and I talked to Mike and I was told I didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. And one way of avoiding having that is having someone over there with everybody else. Because having your own separate office like this may not be conducive to having everybody know what's going on. What, what cities did you, uh, when you said you referenced, I mean, we've had this office here forever. Um, city of Marshall, you, you can walk in and they're a much bigger city than us and the city administrator is right there in, in front when you walk in. What do you? And I would be right there in front too, Bill, except yeah. for that it would be, that it, there would be a room that would be, you know, per se a, a closed room for discussion. My idea of this room is that the police department needs to have all of their stuff in um, located within the police department. In other words, um, <coughs> the supply closet and the evidence rooms and things like that is all supposed to be housed within the police department. Okay, so the room that was the economic development boardroom is being turned back over in the process, and has been in the process, of being turned back over, over to the police department. And the economic development director is going to move into the big room with the chamber. And I want this room to be that conference room that, that we need. Um, conference room, break room, can be a combination of, of everything. Then more than one meeting can go on um, at any given time. Then there is a backup to a, a conference room. Anything else? Anybody want to visit about? Well, I still haven't had my question answered on this, this article. <laughs> she did. Yeah. She said it was you and Tony. Yeah, and how? Oh I, oh, I thought you were asking, like, the question is to who? I want to know what employee was I said was Diane directed. and me, both of us. By me? No, no by, by me. Him. Oh, well, you referenced two council members in here. Well, I guess it was all a matter of how it was written and how it was taken in context, Bill. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, I think I already said it, but again, like I said, um, at the last meeting with all the issues with the Senior Center too, what I had told Steve was that if we're going to work together, what I would like and maybe this is a per perfect world and maybe I'm totally off the wall in thinking this, but why can't we back each other? In other words, what I mean by that is when somebody is complaining <coughs> about something, why can't we simply say, you know, um, well, let's confer with the public works director or let's confer with the city administrator first and see what they've done about it instead of just... I don't know, I, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing and I don't want to sound defensive. Um, but, but we're not doing that. We're not working together. We're not communicating. We're not backing each other. Instead, it's, well, this will get done or that will get done. And I mean, 
I know I sounded defensive, Bill, and I apologize for that, but there was things being taken care of over at the senior center had anybody simply asked. Mm -hmm. And nobody cared to ask. Instead, I just, I'm <coughs> gonna get in trouble for something that I, it wasn't intended. Well, I, I, I'll be honest with you, as long as you brought the multi-purpose center up. You, you asked the council to come over and, and field questions and, and try and resolve the situation. You asked for help. I applaud that. I applaud that. You, otherwise, you wouldn't need to be there. So you were asking our, our help, our input to that particular problem. And then when we asked you questions about it, it wasn't about who you're hiring or not hired or why. It just It's part of the paragraph up above what you put on everybody's desk about the investigation of city affairs. It was just simple questions. There was no reason to. Um, you asked me specifically why I didn't hire the person. No, that was there. Yes, I, you did. Yes. yes, you did. I asked why you didn't hire somebody who was qualified. That's it. I didn't ask about any names. I didn't ask about anything other than that. I asked if you got somebody qualified, why didn't you hire it? Period. <clears throat> well, one one of the things is again like having this is you have to be allowed to do your job. And, and, I, and, and, I, and I do know when I went over with, uh, with Bill, uh, what was it, that Monday? We went and had coffee yep, yep. like we yep. committed that we right. would get more involved we went over, and go have coffee. And, 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 my, and my, my thing was is going over there was to see that, to see what the condition of the place was. It had nothing to do with undermining your position. And when we, when we talked, I felt bad that you felt that way because that's not my intention. Because all of us want you to succeed. Because we know what it's been like for the past two city administrators. It's a revolving door and it needs to end. We need to have someone that's going to be here for a while. And if we can't support you and if and there's some way I messed up by not giving you the feeling that you're supported, I apologize for that. Because I'm not going to do that again. Because you need, you need to succeed. And if you succeed, then we all succeed. Go ahead. I have a comment about the fact, though, that it would be nice if, if some people would, like, not dictate and ask. Because I've heard, like, multiple things today. My phone blew up constantly today about this whole meeting and about some people that heard some things that you, Tony, had said over there hollering it away at all of them. So it's, I mean, we're I, I don't have an together. inside voice. I don't holler. I know, Every employee that's ever has... worked for me was told, you will know when I'm hollering. And I've never, of all the employees I've lost, only one's ever heard me holler. Well, you have evidently scared some employees and some customers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, 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 well, the, for that, I apologize. There was no intention of that. I know, I mean, we have got to work together because Tracy is a mess. Well, I wouldn't say a mess, but I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to quabble over Seriously, definitions. I'm not going like to quabble over definitions. All the time. But what, what, I will, what I will say is that we have major issues that we collectively need to deal with. And for these side issues, we shouldn't be spending as much time on them. So that's why, and, and that's why in order to alleviate it, if we can meet 5.30 before a council meeting, or if there are issues that people have, can certainly contact me. And I appreciate you pointing out, Tony, what the purpose of that committee was. But I think it could be expounded that if someone like Madonna, who I appointed and the council approved, <coughs> if there's issues with my appointment, I would like to know about them so I can talk with her. Because I want her to succeed. We all want her to succeed. Yeah, we all do. I said that from the beginning. So, anybody have anything else? Thank you for taking time out of your evening and thank you for tolerating a guy with a nasally voice. So, we have a motion. Dave, did you have something? Nope. Oh, sorry. Is there a motion to adjourn? I make a motion if we're done. Second. Second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you for coming. <laughs>